hi folks <coughs> hi folks so today i would like to share few things uh, with you regarding the indian institute of science and the various programs available here so the my main agenda is to let you know that there are actually many ways of getting into iic if at all you are interested in doing something within the country and in india iic is a very good option as you would already know uh, but the thing is many people think that uh, to get into iic you need to be in top 100 ranks in any stream be it so when i tell all this i am specifically mentioning about the engineering higher education field not necessarily science that is an entirely different uh, that's an entirely uh, different thing so basically yeah so what i was trying to tell is uh, okay so when you when you think about engineering and higher studies automatically people start telling that okay you need to be in top 50 rank to get into iisc for an mtech specifically for an mtech uh, now let's say you need to think broad think out of the box first of all let's say your goal is actually to go ahead and do a phd it is not a very bad option to go for a direct phd that is first thing that i want to tell coming to my my details as such so i passed out from nit calicut in 2012 i passed out from nit calicut in around in 2012 uh, in electronics and communication engineering after that i was working at nvidia for a couple of years and then i was with bharat electronics limited for another couple of years so totally around 4 years of working experience and one year i was just doing some random things preparing for other exams like engineering service exam civil service and all during that time so the break between nvidia and bel i had written gate so i wrote gate 2015 without much preparation that's the whole idea without much preparation because the my my preparation from for engineering services uh, i did not want to just let it go i just used it for gate that's all i did not do any gate specific preparation i ended up getting a rank of 2650 in electronics and communication with a score of 606 now uh, when i was in my third year of engineering i am telling you all this so that people don't make similar mistakes i wouldn't call it mistakes choices uh, that i made if you are in in line to do something that i am trying to propose here so in my third year of engineering in my third year of engineering actually along with everyone else in my batch we we went and wrote we had gone and wrote written gate that time all the concepts were very fresh and nit as you know is is a reasonably good college i did it from nit calicut uh, these days the ranking is indeed going down but that time it was okay reasonably well and everyone was getting placed in a very good college even i got placed in nvidia bangalore from nit calicut through campus placement so we wrote gate and i had got a rank of 1600 with a very nice gate score of around 750 7730 around 730 i don't remember it now that time i was i got placed in nvidia so i was all into that and did not even bother to use that gate score and i was thinking like okay thousands i was also having the same impression okay it's a, it's the rank is 1600 so it's like totally out of the box i can I like it's totally out of out of the court i cannot do anything with this score and just better leave it then what happened i joined nvidia had a good work experience nothing to complain about it was very good i just I, then at the end of it i just just wanted to do something different so i started preparing for exams i simply wrote gate i wrote gate and the gate results came that point of time i was thinking okay again a pathetic result but it's fine anil anyway you didn't prepare for it so okay i left it there then i got an opportunity uh, with bharat electronics limited when they started the product development and innovation center it's called pdic uh, they were taking lateral recruits into the department that was also a very good experience to start with but slowly slowly this psu culture that is actually 30 years behind i'm not complaining people for people who want to have a very peaceful 8 to 4 job and actually want to do core engineering a psu especially like be and bhl is a very good option and especially for a department like product development and innovation center uh, they actually give give lot of so i got a lot of entire system development experience which actually helped me uh, so right now i am in my second year of phd i finished my coursework it's a direct phd in bioengineering in ias so what happened is uh, one and a half one, one year and around 8 months into bel uh, application for admissions mtech phd admissions from iits and iiscs came 
I was just thinking, okay, what should I do? I'll just try. So then what I found out was this was for 2017. My 2015 GATE score was valid. And when I checked the cutoff scores for PhD admissions, when I checked the cutoff scores uh, for PhD admissions, I was surprised that the cutoff scores were very low. 500, 450. My score was 606. I thought, fine, why not give it a try? So I, I applied with, so then I thought that give it anyway, I'm old. I was 27 by then, it's 26, going to be 27 by then, by the time I was, uh, during the time I was applying. Uh, I thought, fine, let's just, anyway, there's no point in again doing two, two years of MTOC and then doing another four, four and a half years of PhD. If at all you want to do, just try, let's try, direct PhD. So there were options in IIT Bombay, IIT Roorkee, and several other places, IIT Delhi, and of course IAC. I was by then staying very close to IAC I and I had a very emotional attachment to IAC. As uh, my friends were inside and I used to frequent that place very often. So I applied to Center for Policy Studies and Center for Climate Studies in IIT Bombay. And I applied to Center for Sustainable Technologies I think to IIT Roorkee and to the Electrical Engineering Department there and to Center for Applied Research in Electronics Care in IIT Delhi which is very good. I got shortlisted for written test and interview from IIT Roorkee for that uh, sustainable development department and to the two departments in IIT Bombay. And these interviews in IIT Bombay were on alternate Sundays. I had, uh, since I was working and it was a six day working environment in Bharat Electronics, I actually booked flights to and fro for the, both, both the interviews. It cost me a lot of money, 30,000 rupees. I went and attended the interviews, uh, but my experiences at, I experienced at IIT Bombay was that they had written tests. I cleared both the written tests for both the PhD programs, but I got a very cold response during the interview. They were like, they were very reluctant to take in a person who was out of academics for the last four years, for not four, uh, last five years. And they told me in my face that I, we don't think you can cope up with the PhD program. Fine. I was visibly upset. I expressed my uh, grief to them that I have spent so much money and I am telling you that I can, I can work well, uh, but they are, they were actually not ready to listen. Fine. So I finished the interviews and came back. By then I was actually disillusioned. Uh, like I thought, fine, this is all a grand experiment. By chup chap bed ke, kam kam pe gus jao, BLP. That time I got shortlisted for interview calls in all the departments I applied to IAS. So if you look at the cutoff scores for PhD programs, there are several PhD programs in IAS which actually have a very low cutoff. What they expect from you is to come there and perform at the interview reasonably well. Your mathematics skills should, should be very pakka and your engineering knowledge should be crisp. That's all they're expecting. They're actually not bothered whether you are the gate topper or not. And uh, it's a entirely different mindset that is needed for doing a PhD program. So uh, for your own information, what I'm telling is that de the departments which had reasonably low cutoff scores for PhD programs were many. There is a center for sustainable technologies. It's called SISTU. Uh, no, uh, so that is CST. Then there is a center for uh, um, uh, sustainable transportation and urban planning. It's called SISTU. Then uh, there is a very good department that has started recently called the Robert Bosch Center for Cyber Physical Systems. It's called RBCCPS. They give the, okay, so the normal stipend for a PhD candidate for five, for initial two and a half years until they finish their comprehensive examination is 25,000 rupees. After that, it becomes 28. And in case you are staying outside and if you are married, you will get another 7.5 to 8K as house rent allowance. So total, you will get around 33K per maximum 37K in hand during the entire duration of your PhD. But there are some departments where they offer more. So Robert Board Center is one such department. They actually offer up to 70K through industry partnership to your uh, to the uh, candidates. And they had a um, amazingly low cutoff score of 300. 300 is like just qualifying. So so it's, does, it doesn't mean that they are not bothered about the quality or the knowledge of the person. What they are looking, they want to give good opportunities to whoever wants to try this out. And you come and prove your mettle in the interview. That's all that they are trying to tell. So I had given Robert Board Center Obviously, for the higher stipend, to be frank, Robert Bosch Center uh, as the first choice. Next, I always wanted to do some kind of an engineering work in the biology field, medical field actually. So I gave bioengineering as a second option, and I gave uh, what is the third option? Uh, I gave Center for Neuroscience. Again, I wanted to work in biological sciences, so as I gave Center for Neuroscience as the third option in IIC admissions. So now I'm going. I'm specifically speaking about IIC admissions only. 
in IIC admissions, uh, you can only give three options for your PhD. So there are several other departments who take people who who call people at a very low cutoff score. Uh, there is the interdisciplinary program in nanoscience. The direct PhD program in the proper program in nanoscience has higher cutoff. Then there is the IIC Mathematics Initiative. And then there is new Center for uh, Data Sciences. These these uh, departments, uh, engineering departments, actually have Center for Energy Research. These departments have reasonably low cutoff scores. The core department says, let's say you want to go in a department of electronic systems engineering called CEDT, which is very famous across the country. Their cutoff score for PhD admission, the year I got admission was 850. That is like again top 50 rank, gate rank. But my score was 606. I'm not trying to tell that I got a cheat code entry into IAC, which is in a way true. But the thing is, I had to prove myself. So that is the remaining story. So what happened? I got shortlisted. I went for Robert Bush interview. A lot of people had been shortlisted because obviously the cutoff score was 300. That year was their first year of PhD admissions. Not many people were aware. Now that rush will be even more actually. So I got shortlisted for the written test. I mean, I wrote the written test. Thankfully, I cleared the written test. Whatever I, I mean, uh, interviews I went for, I was able. To, by God's grace, I was able to clear the written test. So I cleared the written test, and I. Uh, went in for the interviews. So there they asked probability theory mostly and core electronics. I could answer a few questions but I got the indication that I would not make it. Next day uh, I had the bioengineering interview. Bioengineering program did not have a written test. It was an interview and the faculty were very 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 welcoming to be to be frank. So they gave me options on which project you would like to work on. There was only one option which had electronics something related to electronics in it. So it was a joint uh, project between uh, the Department for Molecular, Molecular Reproduction Development and Gen Genetics called MRDG in Biological Sciences and guess what, CDT, DESC, Department of Electronic Systems Engineering, a professor here. So uh, I gave that option, that is the only option and I told the panel that I am working, I have a good stable career right now, if at all I am going into PhD, I want to do something that is related to my graduation or my area of expertise which is electronics but I am interested in doing something related to medical science and I want as, as that would have a tangible translational effect in the society as part of my research. So you should be able to convince the board why do you want to do this? You are not doing it out of desperation. You are actually interested in the field and you are capable enough to finish the coursework and you have the caliber to finish the coursework. Mind it, IIC coursework is very 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 tough and they are very serious about it. In many other IITs, actually for PhD candidates, they are not really serious about the coursework. It's just a formality that you have to finish. But in IAC, that's not the case. And especially for a direct PhD program, you have to finish 24 credits before your comprehensive examination, that is two years. So now, right now, I'm sitting finishing 26 credits in one year. I took 17 credits in one semester and 10 credits. So I finished 27 credits. 10 credits in the next semester. It was a very, 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 very difficult time for me. but. I have come out of it and I have become a more confident and a more scientific thought oriented person at the end of it. So I am thankful for it. So that's another story. That's for another day. So right now I am sitting in my one lab actually. It's a Sunday. Nobody is there. It's fine. So, uh, so that is the thing. I got shortlisted for bioengineering. They had, they had two interviews. One was a biology interview and another was the engineering interview because it's a bioengineering program. In the engineering interview, they asked me uh, about basic mathematics, linear algebra, probability theory, basic analog electronics because analog electronics is used in signal conditioning and all. Then basics about biology, uh, my engineering service, engineering service and civil service preparation helped me in that. And in the other interview, they asked much more specifics like what is the structure of the cell, what is DNA, what is RNA, uh, how does it differ, differ, what is cancer, why do you think cancer occurs, do you know what is oncology. Uh, what is the most common type of cancer in India, across the world and all. I was supposed to work in breast cancer. So that day evening I was informed that I have actually been selected for the pro for the program and I had actually in fact topped the, inter topped the interview process. I felt very happy and I wanted to share this after a year. I wanted to do this after a year once I was confident about my decision to be frank. So it has been a very, 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 very fruitful and rewarding experience for me. I have changed enormously, enormously as a person, as a scientific person, as a person in the field of engineering, as a person in the field of science. 
IIS is the best place in the country if you want to merge science and engineering, if you want to work at the interface of medicine and engineering. Uh, that is the best place in the country and in fact in, in the rest of the world to be frank. I had a, I did not want to go outside the country. Uh, so I had to do this because I I want to do things in my country and and want to prove to the world that you can do excellent outstanding work within this country alone and there are in fact good facilities in this country and I have been proven I have been vind, uh, proven vindicated correctly until now I have at least three and four three or four years of my PhD work remaining with me and I am going into my work uh, happily with collaboration with my professors so guys the gist of my uh, talk to you is that uh, don't have sh sheep or herd mentality that's a core thing provided that you have given your effort and you have got a great score there is always a course that you can actually get into given that you are basic mathematics is strong and your understanding about your concepts in your field of engineering are good it's not about you knowing the formulas or the mugging up things but you should know what goes where and why this should be used and why the other should other one should not be that's a whole idea coming to iisc there are a lot of departments within iisc they are more than happy to welcome bright not bright not necessarily bright they are more than happy to welcome hard working students phd is a very 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 intense process and doesn't it's not only required that you are smart more than being smart you should be dedicated and you should be ready to put in year, years and months and hours of hard work day in and day out so that is what they are looking for so departments that you could look for are bioengineering my own department center for nanoscience center for neuroscience where excellent work is happening professors who have done their phds or postdocs from stanford and harvard have come back to india and they are there so you, you get to work under them even my professor had a postdoc from MIT and Harvard, Harvard. both my professors and Center for Neuroscience, Center for Nanoscience, Bioengineering, uh, the in IIC Mathematics Initiative, Center for Energy Research, Center for Sustainable Technologies, Center for Transportation Engineering, Center for Water Research, um, even Management Studies also I think. You can look at the cutoff scores but my idea is that please, please, please go through what all departments are there and don't hesitate to move out of your core field your core field by any chance would already be so much populated with people that you can only do incremental work there is no point in doing incre okay there might be a point but as per me there is no point in doing incremental work in a phd your phd should be disruptive research you should be able to make substantial addition to the pool of knowledge that is available that is what you call a doctor of philosophy degree otherwise it is just an mtech or a master's degree so most of the low hanging fruits in research most of the low hanging fruits in research are in the interdisciplinary field and specifically in the biology or medical and engineering medicine and engineering interface for further queries you can go to my quora profile i have given answers uh, i just wanted to share this with you uh, because you should be able to think out of the box i was not doing that that's why i'm telling it see i have white hair now full white hair i'm 28 now now only around one and a half years back only i have realized what i should be doing better late than never that is my policy right now but you need not make that policy immediately after passing out you can go for a direct phd and by this time by by my age you can actually go finish your phd and you have good seven years to do amazing postdoctoral work before you come back to do an academic work a job or any other uh, industry work so guys please think out of the box explore the courses available and apply intelligently and without bias and don't 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 follow sheep or herd mentality thank you all the best